Before we get into NXT 2.0 here, oh, what a show we had last night. I would like to start off by saying that if you listened to the show yesterday and the podcast glitched out in the final few minutes, no, I did not do that on purpose. And in fact, I started to do the Brian and Vinny show last night, if you were listening live, and the show began and then stopped. And there was a long pause and then it began again because whatever was happening... Also, we almost had an entire Brian and Vinny show that you would not have been able to hear any of the audio. So we got that handled, and everything is great. I'd like to thank, uh, not thank, but congratulate Jim Valley, who received the Courage Award from the Cauliflower Alley Club. No man deserves that award more than Jim Valley this year. So a big congratulations to him. Apparently a big surprise to him. So uh, our own Jim Valley, a recipient of the Courage Award from the Cauliflower Alley Club this year. Mike, are you there? No, Mike's not there. His mic isn't plugged in. I knew there was an issue because we can't have a show. Now are you there? I'm here. Yeah. Every day, everyone. Is there a Cauliflower Alley Award for... Anyway, let's talk about NXT. If there was, your production would have gotten it yesterday. My production? You didn't plug the mic in. Now listen, everybody. At least I ain't glitching out. NXT 2.0, you did as well. I don't know if you listened or not. Everybody glitched out. Happy birthday, J.J. Williams. Yes, J.J., happy birthday. Man, what a birthday present. He could have gotten here, but they kicked him out. Instead, he gets to go to Dynamite. NXT 2.0 was quite a show. I don't know if I'm going to go over every segment in this segment. I just want to do a quick overview of what happened last night. I warned you all that change was coming, and here we are. And boy, I mean, there's no there's no mistaking. Sometimes you would watch like an old, if you've been around a long time, there would be WCW shows where there was a new booker and if you didn't know you would watch the show and maybe there'd be a different thing here and there but in general it was the same show or when uh when allegedly paul Heyman and eric bischoff were taking over ron smackdown but it was pretty much exactly the same show there is no mistaking this is nxt 2 3 4.0 it's totally different okay so there's positives and negatives. I mean, if, if you're looking for the old NXT where they'd have blowaway matches and they do tons of near falls and just high spot, high spot, high spot, kick out, kick out, kick out. No more. Just go watch another show. Go watch Dynamite. If you believe, and this is an arguable point that you should believe this, if you believe that this show should be about creating people that are going to move up and become stars on the main roster, well, it's clearly way more of that here than it used to be, but mostly because the people running the main roster are choosing who is going to be a star on NXT, as opposed to Hunter choosing who's going to be a star, and then his guy gets called up and Vince is like, ah, I like that skinny geek. So, I mean, you could just watch this show. It's one big muscle man after another, all getting pushes here. The matches are all just simple, basic. I mean, there's nothing wrong. I mean, there's a lot wrong with some of them because the people are so green. I mean, the NXT color scheme should be green. But I mean, in terms of like, they are having them do matches the way that they want them to work on the main roster. If you don't like that, then you got to watch another show. But that's originally, that was supposed to be the point of this whole NXT thing. Then it swung the other way where it was like a glorified PWG or whatever. And the guys were there doing whatever they wanted in crazy matches. And for the most part, sometimes keeping their names and doing an indie style, which Vince don't get it. So if that's what NXT is supposed to be, which it is, well, then this is the superior show. You as a viewer may not like that. Uh, but that's what it is. The wedding, we can get into... I mean, at least the wedding, it was like, whatever they did building up the wedding, they paid it off in the wedding. So I was I was pleased overall with the wedding. 
Tommaso Ciampa is, in fact, the new NXT champion. So that was a surprise to me. Not only did LA Knight not... And I should have thought about this before, by the way. You guys realize that LA Knight was in developmental many years ago. And they fired him. Then they rehired him. I should have thought about that. Guy's been fired once, which means, you know... At some point, Vince saw nothing in this guy. Now he's back. Even though he was what you would think would be Vince's guy... In fact, not only did he not win the title, he was defeated twice on the show. Two times LA Knight was beaten last night. Lots of green wrestlers is noted. I mean, if you want to see people learn on national television, this is the show for you. And the final thing I'll say, and then we'll get Mike's thoughts, is it certainly was more exciting than many NXT shows. A lot of these NXT shows, like the matches were, I mean, they were good, but they were just people out there doing a bunch of moves and kickouts and finishes. I mean, nothing to really wrap your, sink your teeth into. I mean, whatever you want to say about this show, the good and the bad, it was not a boring show. So anyway, that's my overall thoughts. We can talk about each of the segments later, but what did you, what did you take away from this show overall, Mike? Yeah, it was certainly an adventure, the show, uh, for sure. Um, it's i'm sitting there looking it's like i'm not down on the show at all uh because of what you mentioned if you want to look at this how they're looking at this and you see bronson steiner bronson with the, the braun breaker rex steiner okay uh, how many times did vince watch sleepy hollow by the way we got, is that braun, where he got it? well we got braun breaker braun Strowman. i mean he'd use braun bones or braun bones where that guy's name was but I guess he's, he just can't bring himself, but God, there's so many bronze. Bronze breaker. Is bone breaker trademarked or something? That's why it's bronze breaker. I, I mean, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't know why he's not. Well, bronze because he's strong. Bronze uh, breaker. You can just hear Vince saying it. I guess. Oh, you want to be Rex Steiner? No. Braun Breaker. I don't He's know. probably he, so excited. I'm sure he probably is. I yeah. There's branding all over this show that we can get into with some of these wrestlers and everything. Look, I'm the conversely. Ivy Nile's a badass name. I think that ended up being a cool name and everything. And is this a six hundred thousand view show? Like, is this? I don't know I what mean, this is going to do. That's I have the thing no is, idea. Like, I'm not. Down on the show in that there were some interesting things that I like. I like Legato de Fantasma. I like Hit Row. I like amateur wrestling. So as stupid as I think it is to change Joe Ariola's name or change the Casper brothers' name, I like those Joe guys. Joe Ariola, Tony D'Angelo. His last name Tony... is Ariola. Well, yeah, or, well, I believe it is. Yes, Ariola. I believe it is. Yes, I can't believe they didn't go for that one. Well, I mean, look, but still, I mean, the, the names are kind of ridiculous, although I guess his is better, but, like, that's what they're going to do, and I like seeing some of these guys, and I'm going to like to see how they progress, but I'm also sitting there watching this going, I'll watch this every week, I, I can get into watching this, I can make myself watch this show every week, but is this something that, like, USA, is 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 this a USA primetime show or is this going to be able to garner those numbers i i also didn't get that feel out of it at all like none so again i i like some of the ideas i like the fact they brightened it up i like some of the people that maybe we're going to get to see but it's just it, it was an odd it was an odd presentation but uh, we'll see i just it didn't feel it didn't feel as big time as i think they wanted it to feel could be joey wrong. nipples is a great name by the way Joey Nipples is a Joey fantastic Nipples. name. Absolutely. Joey Ligma. Oh, we got in the wintertime that guy can etch glass. Back in a moment, everybody. Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.